this video, we will cover the topic of comparison between direct acting and reverse acting controller. To understand the content of this video, it is recommended to go through the previous video to understand the definition of PV, SP and OP. This diagram shows the an example of a direct acting controller. As shown in this diagram, the control valve is located at the outlet of the tank. In this example, we will evaluate the scenario when the level in the tank increases. The increases of the tank level will be measured by the level transmitter. When the tank level increases, the control valve at the outlet of the tank will open more to allow the liquid to be drained faster. Thus, for a direct acting controller, when the current process variable or PV increases above the set point or SP, the output or OP will also increases. With the larger opening of the control valve, the tank level will reduce back to the set point. Next, we will look at an example of reverse acting controller. For this example, the setup of the tank is slightly different from the previous example. In this example, the control valve is located at the inlet of the tank. Again, we will evaluate the scenario when the level in the tank increases. The increases of the tank level will be measured by the level transmitter. When the tank level increases, the control valve at the inlet of the tank will closes more to reduce the feed into the tank. Thus, for a reverse acting controller, when the current process variable or PV increases above the set point or SP, the output or OP will reduce it. With the smaller opening of the control valve, the tank level will reduce it back to the set point. We are at the end of the video. Please feel free to watch the other videos for process control introduction and tuning.